So, welcome again in an another lecture of my course power electronics application in power system. In the last lecture, I, I started discussion on the mathematical modeling of thyristor control series ca uh, capacitor, right. In short, it is uh, known as TCSC and it is popularly named as TCSC in the literature of uh, this power electronics compensator used in power systems. Now, in this particular lecture, we will continue the mathematical modeling of this TCSC. Let us quickly recapitulate what we have learned in the last lecture. So, in the last lecture, we have learned this modes of operation of TCSC and then I started the mathematical modeling of this TCSC. You can see this is the very basic schematic of the TCSC which I had drawn in the last lecture and uh, then we, we apply this uh, very basic law of electrical engineering Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law to find out a set of equation. This is one equation, this is one equation, this is another equation that we developed by applying this Kirchhoff's voltage law and this is another equation we develop by using uh, Kirchhoff's voltage law. Okay. Now, with this equation, uh, we will get a uh, second order differential equation that is this, this is the equation that we got and once uh, solving this equation, we have come out with the uh, instantaneous value of the current flowing through the TCR that is this, this current, this arrow. Uh, it is showing the instantaneous current flowing through the uh, reactor, right. And as I said, if you look at this expression, you will see that uh, lambda we, we already defined, it is the ratio of the uh, omega to omega and this A and B are the two, this arbitrary constants and omega as you know is power frequency, I m is the peak value of the system voltage which already uh, I have taken this and uh, you know that omega r comes due to the resonance okay, and which is equal to 1 upon root over L c. So, A and B are the two arbitrary co constant, we need to find out the expressions for A and B through the boundary conditions okay. and this boundary conditions we get by applying from this particular waveform. Uh, okay. So, these are the two boundary conditions, one is this, another is that. So, we will apply these two boundary conditions today to find out the expressions for the arbitrary constant A and B. So, today we will start with derivations of of the expressions for for A and B. Okay. This we will do with these two arbitrary constant, uh, two boundary conditions that we have developed in the last lecture. One is this, another is that. So, let us write these two uh, boundary conditions. One is So, what are the boundary conditions we developed in the last lecture? This is the boundary condition. So, I will start with the second boundary conditions first. So, it is V of C minus beta by omega. Okay. So, V of C minus beta by omega uh, is equal to minus V of C plus beta by omega. Okay. Or alternatively, we can write these equations like this V C T where uh, T is equal to minus beta by omega is equal to V C of T where uh, is equal to minus of V C omega T where T is equal to plus beta by omega. Okay. Now, if you look at this boundary condition to find this uh, you know uh, 
uh, to do uh, put this boundary conditions in a mathematical equation one needs to find out the expression for v c of t ok. So, we know this already we determine the expression for i t c r and we also know the relationship of this v c t with this i t c r. So, what we can do let us write this expression for i of t c r t what is this basically this is the instantaneous current flowing through the this t c r unit of the t c s c. So, this is the this i of t c r or alternatively in that particular page I can draw it uh, basic schematic di diagram once again. This is our fixed capacitor. Here we have this variable reactor which we are calling as T C R right. So, here we have this fixed capacitor it is let us represent it by X C. Here we have variable uh, reactor let us represent by X T C R. Now, the voltage across this fixed capacitor is V C T and current flowing through this X T C R is I T C R of T ok. And this is what the line current it is the transmission line current I am representing it by I of T. So, if I draw this things would be clear to you. Now, we know the expressions of I T C R T which we have already determined in the last lecture this this is the equation. So, I will just copy this equation in this particular page. So, what would be that equation? this equation would be lambda square divided by lambda square minus 1 i m cos omega t this is what the power frequency term, but apart from that we will have this resonant frequency term which is cos omega r t plus b sin omega r t right. And from the KVL equation we also get a relationship that is this between the voltage across the capacitor instantaneous voltage across the capacitor and the instantaneous current flowing through the uh, reactor or the TCR. So, we know that V C T is equal to L D I T C R D T ok. Now, uh, from this particular equation we can uh, derive this expression of this. So, V c of t is equal to this L this would be lambda square lambda square minus 1 I m. Now, if we differentiate cos omega t with respect to t then what we will get? We will get minus omega sin omega t ok. Now, we have to differentiate this this component with respect to t and multiply it with L. So, this will be equal to minus because if we differentiate cos omega r t with respect to t it will be L a omega r sin omega r t and if you differentiate this again with respect to T L would be of course, there L B omega R cos omega R T ok. So, that is what this V C T. Now, now, what we have to do is we have to put this conditions over here we have to put this condition over here. So, if we put this condition over here and if we write that uh, V C T when uh, T is equal to minus beta by omega is equal to minus V C T where T is equal to plus beta by omega. Now, if you put this equation over here what we will get is. So, left hand side I will put this equation. So, this will be minus L lambda square lambda square minus 1 i m omega. Now, if we put uh, this expression over here. So, uh, t is equal to or omega t is equal to minus beta. So, this will be 
plus so because omega t is equal to minus beta means sin of minus beta which is minus sin beta. So, this we can write as sin beta. So, this negative sign I multiply it with this negative it would, it would get a positive value over here and then minus L A omega r. Now, sin omega r t if we put uh, omega t is equal to minus beta. Now, you know the relationship of omega to omega already we determine that uh, the ratio of omega to omega is equal to lambda. So, since lambda is equal to omega to omega. So, we can write omega r is equal to lambda omega. Okay. So, this omega r we can write as a lambda omega. Okay. So, therefore, so this would be equal to L A omega r sin. So, I am just replacing this omega r as a lambda omega. So, omega t is now beta. So, it will be minus lambda beta. So, minus sin minus lambda beta will be uh, minus sin lambda beta. right? Now, next if I put over the here, so it will be L constant b omega r. So, again uh, this if we uh, put this uh, cos omega r t as cos lambda omega t, then it will be cos lambda beta. Okay, if I am not wrong. So, this is what the left hand side of this, this is what the left hand side of the boundary conditions. Now, what would be the right hand side? This would be equated with right hand side. Right hand side already we look at we have a negative sign. Okay. So, then this negative, this negative would be positive. So, it, it would be L lambda square lambda square minus 1. I m omega. Now, here omega t is equal to plus beta. So, simply I will write sin beta over here. Okay. Now, look at this again I will write minus L A omega r. So, sin omega t is again uh, sin lambda omega t. So, that means I can write it as a sin lambda beta. Okay. All right, sin lambda beta. Now, we have already a negative sign over here. So, we already have negative sign over here. This negative and that negative will make it positive. Okay. Now, so this negative again I will write here. This is equal to L b omega r. So, cos omega r t we can write is cos lambda omega t. So, this is cos lambda beta because here this uh, omega t is equal to beta plus beta. Now, this is what the relationship we get from this, this particular boundary conditions. Now, if you look at this relationship, this and this will be cancelled out because they are identical. So, lambda uh, L uh, lambda square divided by lambda square minus 1 I m omega sin beta are common to both the side, both right hand side and left hand side. So, I will just simply cut it. Similarly, look at this L a omega r sin lambda beta common to both side. Again, I can cut this. So, what we will get is if we bring this uh, left, uh, right hand side to the left hand side. So, what we will get is 2 L B omega r cos lambda beta because this again is identical with this, but their sign is different so, is equal to 0. So, if it is equal to 0, you can see 2 L cannot be equal to 0, omega L cannot be equal to 0. Similarly, cos lambda beta cannot be equal to 0. So, therefore, this gives the constant B is equal to 0. 
Okay. So, because uh, you can see that uh, this cos beta is here, this beta is a finite value, it is uh, not equal to pi by 2. So, it is not equal to 0. So, that is why b is equal to 0. So, we get the expressions of for b. So, that means from this particular equations, from this particular equation, this part, this part would be equal to 0. Similarly, from this particular equation, this part will be equal to 0, right. Then we have to find out uh, this, this, uh, the expressions for A as well, okay. So, to find out this A uh, constant A, expression for constant A, we will again uh, apply some boundary uh, conditions. Already we have defined this boundary conditions over here, I T C R minus where omega t is equal to this minus beta is equal to 0. So, till continue the derivation for the expression A and to, to uh, find this expression of A that arbitrary constant A what we do? We will use this boundary condition i t c r uh, t where omega t is equal to minus beta is equal to 0. So, we will put this boundary condition i t c r of t where omega t is equal to minus beta is equal to 0. Okay. Now, already we know that what is the expression of i t c r t, it will be reduced to this, it will be reduced to this. Now, let us write it over here. So, we know I T C R of T, which is current instantaneous current flowing through the T C R is equal to lambda square divided by lambda square minus 1 I m I m cos omega t cos omega t plus A cos omega r t. Again, we know this omega r uh, to omega, this ratio is equal to lambda. So, we can replace this omega r by lambda omega. Okay. So, we can do so. We have done it earlier. So, let us represent it with lambda omega t. Now, if we put this expression over here that i t c r, i t c r t when omega t is equal to minus beta is equal to 0. So, here left hand side would be 0. So, right hand side would be lambda square, lambda square minus 1 i m cos beta, right, plus this a cos lambda beta, okay. So, therefore, a is equal to minus this lambda square divided by lambda square minus 1 i m cos beta divided by cos lambda beta. Okay. So, this is what the expression for A we derive and of course, we already derived the expressions for B. So, we got both the expressions for A and B and we will put over here. So, if we put over here, so then, so the expression for for the instantaneous current flowing through, flowing through 
the TCR or the reactor is so if I put this then I TCR T is equal to lambda square lambda square minus 1 I m cos omega t. Now I will put uh, this expression a over here. So it will be there is a negative sign. So this will be minus lambda square lambda square minus 1 I m cos beta divided by cos lambda beta multiplied by cos omega t or we can write cos lambda omega t. Okay. This is the expression we get. Now, if we just uh, take this lambda square minus 1 common from both side uh, because this is common and I m is also common. So, our expression will look like lambda square lambda square minus 1 I m. Let us put outside of the bracket then what we will get cos omega t here minus cos beta divided by cos lambda beta multiplied by cos omega t or you can write lambda omega t. Okay. So, this is what the expressions for I T C R of t. Okay. So, this is what the complete expressions for I T C R of t. Okay. So, this is what the complete expressions for the instantaneous current flowing through the uh, TCR unit or flowing through the reactor of the TCSC. Okay. Now, again we also need to determine the expression for VCT as well. In order to find that, so let us copy these expressions once again. Uh, this expression what do we get here? Let us copy these expressions once again in another page. So, the expression for for the instantaneous voltage voltage across the capacitor of TCSC is Vc of t is equal to, let me copy this thing once again. So, this is minus L, minus L then lambda square divided by lambda square minus 1 I m. There would be an omega term here. This is a omega term which I want to get multiplied with L. So, I should write this omega here before I write L. So, this is omega L I m sin omega t look at this whether this uh, I wrote correctly or not. So, only thing is that this omega I brought to here, this omega I brought to here just to multiply it with L, rest of the equations are same I believe. So, this is equal to this. Now, uh, that minus we have L A omega R sin omega R T minus L A omega R sin omega R T that was the expression we, we got L A L A omega R sin omega R T. Now, we already determined the expression for A which we will, we will be uh, put over here as well. So, if we put then this would be as it is minus omega L lambda square lambda square minus 1 I m sin omega T right minus L omega R along with this uh, uh, this expressions for A. Now, what was the expressions for A? Expressions for A we determined here. 
it is a big, big expression. So, since there it is a having a negative value, so it will be multiplied with here. So, this will be positive and then we will be having again this lambda square divided by lambda square minus 1 this factor, this factor would be here. Then we have I m, we have cos beta divided by cos lambda beta. So, cos beta divided by cos lambda beta. Okay. Now, this along with this sin omega t. Now, omega r again I replace it with lambda omega t as I did earlier in this case since we know the ratio of omega r to omega is equal to lambda since uh, the ratio of omega r to omega is equal to lambda. Okay. Now, let us do some more derivations over here. So, this side now we will have minus omega l here lambda square lambda square minus 1 i m sin omega t here we have l now omega we know lambda omega. So, this is lambda omega l lambda omega l okay. lambda square lambda square minus 1 i m cos beta it is a very big equation right cos lambda beta then sin lambda omega t. Okay. Now, there are some parts which are common in the both the terms here we have you know two terms where some of the parts are common like this is a common part this is omega l multiplied by this is common in fact i m is also common i m is also common I can put it inside a bracket and bring it outside. So, then what we do it to be let us see. So, this will be minus omega l lambda square divided by lambda square minus 1 i m. If I put outside the bracket let us do not put this negative sign uh, at the very beginning. So, that I can write this is minus sin omega t. Okay. Now, plus this lambda cos beta because this lambda will be outside the bracket. So, lambda cos beta divided by cos lambda beta then sin lambda omega t. This is what the expressions for V c t. Okay. Now, we will put some more derivation over here. One is what is omega l? Omega l nothing but uh, we can put at xl. Okay. Now, so omega l is nothing but xl. Okay. Now, what is the xl? xl is the reactance, reactance of the TCR reactor. Okay. Now, when you multiply this omega l with lambda square, what may happen? Let us see. So, actually we know lambda is equal to omega r to omega right and we know omega r is equal to omega r is equal to 1 upon root over L of c which is the resonance frequency which we know already we, we, we explained over here we explain over here okay. this gives the solution. Now, if it is so, then let us put this over here. So, then what we will get? We will get lambda is equal to 1 upon root over L c omega. Okay. So, from this, from this what we can write lambda square omega square L c. If we just square the both the left hand side and right hand side. So, what we will get lambda square omega square multiplied with L of c is equal to 1. Okay. So, from this from this we can write that lambda square multiplied by omega L omega L. So, this is omega square. So, I take 1 omega. 
So, it is multiplied with omega c is equal to 1 or from this we can write. So, lambda square omega l is equal to 1 by omega c. Now, what is 1 upon omega c? It is nothing but the reactance of the capacitor. So, this is x of c which is capacitive reactance of the capacitor. So, therefore, I can do one thing I can replace this omega l lambda square this part with the x c. Okay. So, then we will get the expression for uh, this v c t v c of t is equal to uh, this this uh, lambda square omega l we are replacing with x c. So, this will be i m multiplied by x c divided by lambda square minus 1. Okay. I am I am just multiplying with this because omega l multiplied by lambda square is nothing but x c. Then, then this will be as it is minus sin omega t plus lambda cos beta divided by cos lambda beta sin lambda omega t. Okay. All right. So, this is what the expressions of uh, voltage instantaneous voltage instantaneous voltage across the capacitor. Similarly, that was the expressions for instantaneous current flowing through the TCR. Once we develop these two, then this could be useful for our uh, you know future derivations. So, we first uh, derive this expression and you can plot this uh, to eventually match with whether uh, this this uh, this plot this uh, waveforms for th of this TCSC uh, parameters would match with dot. So, that you can eventually verify uh, by using any any uh, either in MATLAB or any uh, software that you know. Okay. So, you can verify this. Okay. And here we will further use uh, these expressions for further uh, you know uh, derivations of some of the uh, parameters of TCSC and to understand the concept of TCSC in more detail. Okay. For example, let us go back and see this particular waveform. So, what you can see over here is I say that there are four instances one is this another is this another is this another is this one instance is omega t 1 another is omega t 2 another is omega t 3 another is omega t 4. Now, when we measure these four uh, instances what they stand for this omega t 1 is the TC when the TCR current starts and omega t 2 when it, it uh, again comes back to 0 omega t 3 again when TCR current starts in the other half cycle and omega t 4 when it again return back to 0. Now, you can see due to this particular nature of this TCR current since it is of harmonic in nature then it, it will create the harmonics in the line current or in the capacitive current also and cap in most importantly the voltage across the capacitor which depends upon the current flowing through the capacitor will also be harmonic in nature. Okay. Now, this expression of I T C R we derive what we derive uh, this I T C R is will be applicable for the entire duration of the current flowing through the reactor. Okay. Whenever this current flowing through the reactor is non uh, zero then it will follow this equation. Okay. However, this capacitor voltage that is this this voltage expressions okay, will be only applicable for a specific period of time because you know uh, this capacitor voltage capacitor voltage what we derive only for uh, from this particular expressions 
that is L d i t c r d t that is this expression when u is non zero when u is equal to 1. So, therefore, that means this expression of capacitor voltage what we derive right now will be applicable. So, this is applicable applicable when u is equal to 1 that means that is when i t c r of t is non zero not equal to 0. Okay. Now, when uh, u is equal to 1 you can see uh, go back and see that when u is equal to 1 the t c r is on. So, therefore, some current will flow through this t c r. Okay. Now, when uh, t c r is off that there is no current flowing through this i t c r then u is equal to 0. When u is equal to 0 this equation will not be valid this equation will not be valid rather when u is equal to 0 this T C S C will act as a fixed capacitor. Okay. So, therefore, the current expressor will not be valid this voltage across the capacitor expression will not be valid. So, therefore, these expressions for voltage will be only applicable when uh, this current flowing through the T C R is non zero. Okay. This is something one need to understand. Then the question is when the T C R current is 0 what would be the expression of voltage across capacitor that means if I go back and see the wave from once again. So, during this interval during this interval here to here what will be the expression of this V C T V C T that means when this current is non zero. Uh, then what would be the expressions of capacitor voltage? This is the say, uh, you know, uh, the next part which I should discuss. Now, when this uh, this current is zero, then what would be the voltage across capacitor? Basically, when uh, this T C R is not conducting, then the whole unit act as a fixed capacitor. So that means I should write when. the T C R is non conducting the T C S C will act as a act as a fixed capacitor this is something you want to understand. So, when u is equal to 0 that means, T C R is non conducting conducting non conducting or I should write I T C R current is equal to 0 we need to derive the expression for expressions for the instantaneous current. current uh, sorry instantaneous voltage not current instantaneous voltage across the capacitor. Achha. So, you have to understand during this this uh, you know period during this period T C S C will act as a fixed capacitor. So, therefore, if we draw the T C S C diagram it will be something like that. So, where uh, this uh, you know uh, this is not conducting. So, therefore, this current entire this line current which is uh, coming uh, from this transmission line will flow through the capacitor that is this and the capacitor uh, voltage uh, during this moment of time 
will follow these equations. Capacitor voltage will uh, uh, no, follow these equations. So, during this period of time, the capacitor uh, you know volt, uh, voltage uh, would be equal to uh, during this moment of time, if we consider this is I of C T and this is V C T, then we know I of C T is equal to this I of T, which is the line current, because there is no other current if we apply K C L over here, this I of T is equal to I C T. Uh, if we apply KCL at this point, at this particular node, there is no other component of current because during that time uh, this uh, switches are non-conducting. So, this current uh, drawn by this TCR is 0. So, I of T is equal to I C T. So, therefore, we know that uh, this equation uh, that I C T will follow this equation C D V C T D T. Okay. All right. Now, if we just use these expressions, then uh, this uh, if you if you uh, find uh, the solution of these expressions, then uh, if you find this V C T, then what would be the expression of V C T? It will be integration of one upon C. This I C T, which is equal to I of T. D T plus this this uh, initial voltage across the capacitor that is V C T. When this fixed capacitor uh, you know operation starts that means at what instant this fixed capacitor operation starts. So, this is the uh, you know period where fixed capacitor operation of the T C S C will start. So, this is the fixed capacitor mode of operation. So, just before this operation starts, the instant was this, during that period that what was the VCT. So, this instant is nothing but instant when omega t is equal to beta. So, that means, this instance corresponds to this VCT when omega t is equal to plus beta. Let us consider this is, uh, because this is you know a single uh, variable, this is not uh, dependent on this uh, thing that is uh, only parameter which will vary with this beta. So, if we find out that what will be that V C T when omega t is equal to beta, then we have to apply this expression and put omega t is equal to beta. So, we will apply this expression and put omega t is equal to beta. So, what we will get? This will be I m x c lambda square minus 1 multiplied by multiplied by minus sin omega t. Now, omega t is equal to beta. So, minus sin beta plus this lambda cos beta divided by cos lambda beta lambda cos beta divided by cos lambda beta multiplied with a sin lambda omega t. So, again if we have this omega t is equal to beta. So, this will be equal to sin lambda beta. So, that means this is equal to I m x c lambda square minus 1 minus sin beta plus since uh, in the numerator we have sin lambda beta and denominator we have cos lambda beta. So, the ratio of sin lambda beta to cos lambda beta will be tan lambda beta. So, I am writing is lambda cos beta tan lambda beta. Okay. And this voltage is just at the instant before the fixed capacitor operation starts. So, higher that uh, this is the instant at this particular instant that is at instant uh, omega t 2. Okay. This is the instant corresponds to omega t 2 which is equal to plus beta. So, at this particular instant, this V C T expression will not follow the derivation that we did so far. So, therefore, at this particular instant, it would be something else. So, let us consider this is that instant and let us consider this is equal to V C dash okay? or let us put it 
V C dash, where V C dash is the voltage across the capacitor before the fixed capacitor mode starts. Okay, now we know this. This is VC. Uh, this VC two we already derived. We have to derive this portion once again. So then, at fixed capacitor mode, mode of operation. At fixed capacitor mode of operation. V C T is equal to this V C dash will be as it is already we derive it plus so this is one upon C integration of I of T now I of T is what already we know I of T is basically the current flowing through the line the current flowing through the line this is this is I of T and this expression already we know this is equal to I am uh, cos omega t where I am is the peak value of the current and cos omega t represents the power frequency component. So, therefore, I should write this is I am cos omega t dt. Okay. Now, the question is how long it will go? So, what would be the limit? So, this limit of omega t starts from omega t is equal to beta to omega t ok. So, therefore, we can write it as V c dash plus. So, if you just integrate this cos omega t it will be sin omega t. So, and ome one uh, omega will be in the denominator. So, that will be omega c I m is constant. So, this will be sin omega t. So, now if we put this limit so, this will be sin omega t minus sin beta. So, this would be expression of the voltage across the capacitor when it is operated at fixed capacitor mode of the TCSC, right. So, this is what the uh, voltage across the capacitor. Uh, so, during this, this period, during this period, during this period of time, this will be the expression of VCT and during this period of time, this the expressions of V C T already we derived that is this that is this. So, therefore, uh, we should write the instantaneous voltage across the capacitor. can be written as rather expression for uh, this instantaneous voltage across the capacitor can be written as V C T is equal to this expression when uh, this u 1 is equal to 0 that means the T C are conducting. So, let me write this I m x e divided by lambda square minus 1 I m x e divided by lambda square minus 1 multiplied by this minus sin omega t plus lambda cos beta divided by cos lambda beta multiplied by sin omega t or sin lambda omega t. So, this is for instance when uh, omega t is in between minus beta to plus beta. Okay. And it will be the expressions for V c t will be equal to V c dash 
class this one I already determined the last page that is this. So, vc dash plus this i m see you, you, you can understand that i m 1 upon omega c we can write it as v c dash 1 upon omega c you can write is as x c. So, this is i m x c sin omega t minus sin beta. Okay. So, therefore, we can write it as v c dash plus i m x c sin omega t minus sin beta. Okay. Where v c dash value also we determine this is the expressions for this v c dash. So, this is equal to i m x c lambda square minus 1 i m x c lambda square minus 1 multiplied with minus sin beta plus lambda cos beta tan lambda beta right. So, here this does. So, this will hold for this omega t. So, this as you know already we determined. So, this is the expression which would be applicable when this T C R is conducting that is I T C R of t not equal to 0 and these expressions will work when T C R is non conducting that is I T C R of t is equal to 0. Okay. So, all together this is the instantaneous voltage across the capacitor. Okay. So, why we have derived this? Okay. Why we have derived this? Because this uh, voltage expression is essential to understand the concept of TCSC operation. Right. And also this expression is useful to, to find out this uh, uh, time varying impedance of the uh, TCSC as a whole. So, this expression will be also used to find out the time varying impedance. So, what this uh, you know expression shows? So, let us put some remarks. So, first remark we can write that the voltage across the fixed capacitor is harmonics harmonic in nature in nature ok. So, why it is harmonic in nature this is because of the TCR operation. Number 2 so, we can determine, we can determine the fundamental component, fundamental component of the capacitor voltage in bracket this P C of t from these equations which we will be doing uh, in the next lecture from this equations ok. And number 3 is that we can also determine the impedance or tie the time varying varying impedance of TCSC that is Z TCSC 
from this equation. Basically, what we can do? We can find out uh, the expression of Z T C S C as a function of this parameter beta. Now, what is beta? Beta is the angle of advance which already I explained uh, when I started this discussion of this. This uh, it is an important parameter. This beta is angle of advance. So, this is an important parameter and uh, we can find out the impedance of this T C S C as a function of this beta and uh, we, we can choose the different value of beta to study how it will impact on the operation or rather we can also find out the range of the beta uh, to find out different mode of operation in particular this uh, two vernier control mode one is inductive vernier control another is capacitive value. So, this uh, would be the um, you know uh, topic of the discussion in my subsequent lecture. So, in this particular lecture what I did let me summarize. So, what we, we do is that in the last lecture we determine the expression for instantaneous current flowing through the TCR of the TCSC and also we determined the expressions for voltage across the capacitor for a specific duration that means when uh, this uh, TCR is was conducting. Now, in this uh, particular lecture, we, we derive uh, the expressions for the arbitrary constants in the TCR current expression which are A and B, their expression I derive and also I, I derive the whole expression of this uh, voltage across the capacitor in both the two different uh, mode of operation. One is when the TCR is conducting, when another is when the TCR is non-conducting. So, this gives us um, expression complete expression of voltage across the capacitor which is this and uh, these equations would be useful and this equation shows that this voltage across the capacitor is not a sinusoidal because it will be harmonic in nature and therefore, uh, we need to find out the fundamental component of that uh, we will do that in the next lecture and also we will come up with the expressions for uh, this ZTCSC as well. Okay. So, this will be the part of the next lecture. So, uh, let us again meet to in, the, in the next lecture. Till then, let me thank you for your attention in this particular lecture and I look forward to meet you in the next lecture again. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.